Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to integrate the type ORM with the Postgres, right? So let's start the tutorial. So I have already made a boilerplate structure. So let's move on to that structure. Let's check. We ha I have created the source. Then we have the models. Models, we have appointment, doctor, patients and users. In the tasks slash uh, DB, we have C.ts file for seeding the data. In the config.ts, we are uh, conf config. This is config file where we are all registering the models, right? And in the index.ts file, we have making the configuration file and create the data and connect with the PG admin, right? So let's check. I uh, right now I have the issue with the user models. I have created the user model right now. Let's check whether it has created the user tables or not. When I'm trying, there is only appointment doctor and patient. So let's run the command and check. No repository for the found. Let's let me run npm start. So it is running. So let me go and check whether the tables are there or not. So here user table is there. But here user you can go and view and edit all rows. There is no data. So let me run the DB seed I have already created. So let me go to this one and run DB seed and it is done so let me check um, the data is running over here or not let me refresh again you and all rows see i have uh, i have already added in the configuration ts file in the c.ts file and here i am just creating a new user user or first name last name and after that connection.get repository user and await and just save that user right so this is how you can generate um, the tables. Basically, you just need to run the npm start command and it should be configured in package.json, scripts build. And this is the way that you need to run uh, the no, uh, TypeScript files, right? Without this, uh, if you're uh, running like um, uh, node index.ts, so it will not work. So it will work with the ts hyphen node source and you're picking up the index.ts, right? So right now we are going to create a one more table and check it is creating the table by running the npm start or not. Let's have a look on it. So here we have the table. Let's uh, let's add here something new table over here. So it's lay it takes uh, any new table that they are trying to insert. No, they are. We have the same one let's uh, take an example of the user student let's take a record of the user student right so i'm going to uh, run the command touch <coughs> student student dot ts right i have created the student dot ts right now i'm opening it the visual editor so I am just taking the user dot ts because the user and the student have the same records. So I'm going to paste it over here. Entity. Then I'm gonna be student. Right. Okay. So student, it's added, and it should be the first name, last name, and age. We are going to add it, right? So okay. So you need to configure this in the config.ts file. So you need to just copy and paste with the student command. Student. And here we are going to part the student, right? So here we need to add because with, without this, you can't able to register the table right? student. Okay. So anything we have missed, this is the config and index.ts. Let's uh, add that one also. Print. Because it's not use of it. Right? Let's run the command from the command terminal. And here we are going to run npm start. See? Let's go to the PG admin and refresh the table. Refresh and go to the database that we have Postgres. Go to the schemas. We have the tables. Let's open it. But we have the student. Let's check the view and edit all rows. It has no rows. You can add it. Just 
following my same rule policy go to the db seed if i'm go and check the db seed over here okay let's go to the db seed here we have the c.js file so i'm going to copy whole process and just writing over here so let me here we need to add student and first name last name and age that is test user and last name user age 20 and here i'm going to add student repo and here i'm going to copy and use this part in connection we have to need a student we need to type over here because getting the error add it student so here model is student right so it's working it's taking the path okay the student is there right now and uh, we have made the and let's make it a student and save all the student uh, is let me add with the student we need to pass it student okay so let's check here you can console dot log uh, console dot log student student is added successfully so we will get to know about that okay so let's go and run the db seed command db run seed see student is added successfully and let's check is it added or not let me refresh the db and check student view and edit all rows test user with the h so this is how you can it's very easy and very cool to use the type orm and um, if you are working with the postgres so this gonna be the best tool i guess to making the migrations to making the uh, entities and linkage you can do it easily right so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please do like share and comment